Hey guys, it's Tori from Queen of Glory and today I'm here with Anil, my other half, and we are going to be doing a long distance relationship. <laughs> Did I see that weird? <laughs> long distance really. Alright, stop. Don't start it over. We just start from here and you just cut the video. Go. Action. Okay, I'll do this. Okay. One. Hey guys, this is Tori, her, from Queen of Glory, and today I'm doing a video with her. Because she wanted me to do a video with her. I'm going back to Jamaica tonight. So I'll be doing a video. And we'll be discussing tips on how to make a long distance relationship work. So we're going to give you five main points. So here we go. First one is God. Mm -hmm. We as Christians believe that for a long distance relationship to work, you have to have God at the very center of it. Like what, Anil? Um, yes, we believe, well, yeah, the two, the two of us, that we are Christians and we believe that we believe in abstinence. So God is a key God is the most important part of a relationship and especially a long distance relationship and you need to put God at the forefront ask him to direct your relationship ask him to um, direct it in the way in which he wants it to go and you guys can have devotion together over the phone over Skype you can find time to talk about things that will edify you, things that will help you to grow spiritually, talk about the Bible, have Bible studies over webcam, over the phone, things that will make you guys grow and put God first and everything will come after. Yeah, okay? keep him at the center of everything No, I'll be doing do. the second point. <laughs> I I'm said, I was All right. talking. All right, sorry, sorry. Keep about him that. at the center of everything you do. Rude. All right, so I'll be doing the next point, trust, no. trust. Trust is the second most important part of a long distance relationship. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I trust this girl. And I know she trusts me. But, I mean, second to God, trust is an important part of a long distance relationship. Because someone can say to you, oh, I'm going to, ma I'm going to the mall with my friends, I'm going to church, I'm going to school. You really do not know what they're going to do but as long as you trust them i mean you have nothing to worry about and once they have not given you a reason not to trust them trust them okay and god plays an important part in the trust issue too because as christians we definitely don't believe in you know sex <laughs> Before marriage. Sex. I believe in sex, trust me, but <laughs> just after marriage. And I mean, as Christians, we don't believe in cheating, fornication, stuff like that. And we try our best to stay holy for God and keep ourselves for each other until marriage. And as I said before, trust is a very important part. And once you have God, once you treat that woman or that man, Sorry, when she treats that man and I treat that woman, yeah, with utmost respect and how Jesus treated his church, then the relationship will go very good if it's God's will. And you guys need to also see God and ask him to help you guys to trust each other. So, because if you don't have trust, you don't have a relationship. You don't got nothing. And worse, if you don't have trust, you do not have a long distance relationship. But just you because you have yeah. trust... Just because you have trust doesn't mean you won't have arguments, just saying. Because arguments are a big part of relationships and they do make a relationship better. Because you guys agree to disagree, you learn how to work problems out. So yeah, so those are two tips. Another tip is finding fun things to do with each other even though you're not personally in front of them. 
there's like a lot of things to do like for instance me and Neil will watch movies together or watch YouTube videos together yeah we'll what else play games take personality Not tests game games though, just like we watch movies together mainly but I mean yeah Got and like it doesn't have to be like it's serious stuff like that you could do your homework together you could ask them to do your homework just spend time <laughs> with each other over webcam that's the most you can do yeah uh, if you really love that person you you can wait for them you don't have to be in a rush to see them all the time but I mean when you see them you see them but you just have to live with the fact that they're not there okay so work with it spend time with them over webcam that's all you can really right. do right now um, the next thing is parental involvement <laughs> Okay. Yeah, big time. Big time. Continue. Mommy, you're so rude. Anyways, Continue. yes, parental involvement. Guys, I know like as young people, we don't really want our parents in our business and stuff like that. But me and Anil have really found that when you kind of let your parents in and you talk to them about certain things, they've actually gone through stuff that we we are going through and you probably don't think like your parents can relate to you on that kind of level, but I know that in a lot of situations I talk to my mom and she actually gives me really good advice and she gives me no good advice and I just think it's really good when you can go to your parents and talk to them about certain things so that like they know what's going on so that and it also helps because as a long distance relationship your parents don't want you to get like into the wrong things or like too involved with that person if you don't really know them so a good way to do that is to involve your parents so they feel comfortable while you get to know that person. So that's a great tip. Okay, shh, my time. The last point that I will be doing <laughs> is I'm gonna focus on today instead of focusing on when you're gonna see the person, right? Um, when you're in a long distance relationship, you really cannot wait to see that person. And when you see them, it's like you enjoy your time, you guys have fun. But then you go back to your normal life for a while and you can only talk over Skype, talk on the phone, or picture chat, whatever. And um, what, what, what I would think is a good point is that you do not concentrate on, oh, I'm seeing you in the next three months or two months or whenever. Talk about today, work with today, today is what you have. Have fun today. Um, talk about what you guys plan on doing in the future. I mean, it makes you look forward to seeing each other again, yes, but try not to focus on when you're going to see the person again. You can talk to them today. You just have to work with it. It's either Skype or the phone or whatever for the next two or three months. You just have to work with it and say, okay, I'm not seeing you until three months. I'm not gonna be sad about it. I'm not gonna feel down about it just work with it it is what we have to work with we have certain goals to accomplish in life before we can even think about taking the next step in a relationship you know so yeah plan for the future but do not concentrate on when you're going to see that person again. another thing is though huh? you could uh, you can also like um plan like educational wise what you guys want to do like when it comes to like life life steps because then that helps you to think of like the broader picture. It doesn't like focus on, oh, I miss you so much and I'm not gonna get to see you till like six months. Like if you think of like the extra future, not saying that you wanna like rush extra future. <laughs> Stop. Think What's not extra that you future? Oh my gosh, the really big future. <laughs> oh. Not saying that you guys wanna rush. <laughs> Stop! Not saying that you guys wanna rush your relationship or you're getting to know each other but you do want to kind of take the focus off the harsh oh my gosh I miss you so much I'm down in the dumps like stuff like that so you can kind of like try to stay positive yeah. even though not gonna lie every time we didn't know leave each other we both cry uh, like babies I, I don't cry and then you cry please sorry we I both like cry. cry like babies like and I'm sad leaving. I am disappointed I do not cry <laughs> be quiet like, so Anil's leaving tonight, and he, he's gonna cry like a baby. And I'm gonna cry like a baby. But you know, right. stop we'll get, embarrassing me on the camera. I'm not going to cry. But we'll get over okay. it because we're thinking about the future. Because once to know. I need to cry for? I'm seeing you in two months. Okay, but you're still gonna cry. I'm not going to cry. 
Yes, you are. Okay. Okay, I'll record him. <laughs> so yeah, is that the last one? Yeah, that's the oh, last no. one. Oh no, one more. Oh, one more great tip. So when me and Anil first started talking, we did these cute little things called sweet backs. And sweet backs are like these, we have a jar. <laughs> we have a jar with 365 little letters and you pick one out every morning after you have devotion you pick one out every morning and you read it so it says like something really sweet for the day so those are good ideas or like that whatever. was when you were younger though you know? I still have yours oh, I'm sure you threw mine away but yeah those are those are sweet little things you can do to remind yourself of each other and to keep it keep it going because you know sometimes maybe it could get boring and then you guys start arguing but you just have to keep she it gets like, boring not me be quiet so yeah you just have to keep it fun you know mm -hmm. like clean fun all right so yes it was nice being here <coughs> i'll be going home soon so yeah <laughs> yes. so guys thank you for watching this video yes mom. like share comment subscribe do it all Yes. We'll be doing other videos when it is here. All right. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Hey guys, it's Tori from Queen of Glory, and today I'm here with Anil. Why would you brush your face oh, oh, while we're okay. doing this? Sorry. All right. Go. <laughs> and <laughs> okay. One. Go. Hey guys. <laughs> Alright, alright, seriously now, big man thing. You do it, you do it. One, two, three. Hey guys, that is Tori. No, sorry. <laughs>